Hey, so today we're going to take a look at two different little headsets here, and these headsets will work with the little Rode wireless, and it'll work with a variety of different uh, little wireless options here. This is the wireless pro here that uh, I'm going to be utilizing it with, and basically the important part is that we've got our receiver right here, and then we have our two transmitters, which the headset will plug into one of the transmitters. And it has a little eighth inch jack. It is a tip ring sleeve type connection in here. And it has, it's got little threads right here. So you can see that uh, we're gonna be plugging into that. And I'm going to be using the Rode Wireless Pro, which any of these, any of the little wireless units from, uh, from, from Rode will work with the Rode headset uh, here. This particular one is around $300, give or take, uh, depending on where you find it. And then we're gonna be comparing that to about a $40 headset somewhere in that ballpark, the Mike J headset. And it also has tip ring sleeve uh, capability down there. And I just popped it open to make sure it was ready to go. So we'll just open the boxes and give you kind of a, a look and then we'll do an audio demonstration with the two. So with the Rode, it is a little headset that will hook behind your ears. I put the little a uh, little piece of foam on there. There also is in the uh, in the kit here, right below, there is a, uh, a little wind muff and a variety of different things, little clips and such. And then, of course, it plugs into the little pack. Then we look at the uh, the Mike J unit, and again, this one just came in, so we're going to get the chance to to uh, kind of put it together. Also, as you can see, it's got a couple of foam pieces. Now, this particular one is. A, I've got to find, I've got to figure out which side is the mic and which side is not, because this one is a unidirectional, meaning it only will pick up audio in one direction. So we're going to get everything kind of set here, and then we're going to uh, give this a try as I try as I get things together. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to come over here to the other phone. Is we're going to be using a black cam, black magic cam. And the way that works, the way this whole thing works, is I've got my receiver receiver one right here. So the way I, I, what I need to do with this is I need to plug this one in, where, there it is, with the Type-C connection, and the other end is Lightning, so I can plug that into my phone. And then I can start the app. I can use Rode Capture, I can use Blackmagic, I can use Filmic Pro, but we're gonna just use the Blackmagic because this is kind of a popular, a popular one. So as we take a look, you can see the audio bouncing right there. That is coming in from one of, let's see, I'm gonna to try to put this up a little bit so you can see it. Okay, that's coming in from one of my, my transmitters. Right here is the transmitter that it's coming in. Check, 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 hey, hey. So you can see that it's coming through. So then let me just take, we're gonna start with the road, the road headset. And I'm gonna drop the audio in over top of this video so that way you'll be able to hear what I'm actually, how it's actually going. The Rode HS2 headset. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The JK Mike J headset. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So there's the comparison between the two headsets, and I'm going to re, -re this re recorded after listening to it through my studio uh, headphones. Now the two sound pretty decent, but you'll definitely notice that the the JK is a much hotter microphone, and it helped to cancel some of the sound around the room just a little bit because there was some some uh, the fish aquarium. You can hear a little sloshing from the aquarium uh, uh, filter and such in the background. The uh, the Rode had a little bit of a staticky sound, and I've, I was listening to a couple of, uh, uh, of recordings of that, and that has been very consistent with that uh, particular headset. I don't know if that's a bad headset or what the deal is, but boy, comparing the two, um, the the more the less expensive one definitely sounded uh, the better of the two, which is really kind of surprising to me. I was uh, I'm gonna have to check and see if that was just a bad Rode type of a headset or what the deal is, but you can definitely hear some static, and the two volumes of what you hearing on this are recorded at the same I was not a difference between the inputs or anything it was what you hear is what we recorded one thing to keep in mind if you are going to be utilizing it is that this is a little tricky of course I grabbed the wrong one it is a little tricky to, because you've got to get this in and you've got to get this threaded and I found that basically just getting it in pushed in and then holding the metal and turning the unit itself um, to the point where it's snug you can't crank on it but you need to get it all the way in if it's not seated all the way in there it does not uh, function and you will have weird uh, weird anomalies audio anomalies going on so 
just to give you an idea uh, with that sound and what they're testing and such, yeah, check it out. I'll put links in the description below. These are both available. All of this is available. I'll put links for everything here on Amazon. This would work with just with the single transmitter and receiver, or in this case, I've got the dual. And with the dual, I can set it so that one channel is is one and the other channel is the other one, or I could set it so that they're both going to both channels and having, in essence, that stereo feel, whatever I wanted to do. Anyway, links in the description below. Thanks for watching.